We have a community problem with youth suicide. We have to have a community-based solution. We are trying to tackle one of the most complicated issues in New Mexico. We are trying to get as far ahead of suicide risk as possible. So by that, I mean early, early prevention. Our programs range from our Early Natural Helpers program, and that's a program where young people, mostly middle school kids, a few high schoolers, learn how to be the eyes and ears of their school community. There have been multiple times where underclassmen that are a lot younger that I haven't even talked to before have just come up to me um, knowing that I'm a natural helper and have asked me about different things or told me about um, issues that are going on at school or with teachers or with other students. There are a lot of people we can go to when talking about those tough issues because it is a lot for a teenager to handle. We really try to develop this comfort level and the skills for how to ask and check in with each other. When I was 16, I had some issues mentally that got the school involved, that got the counselors involved. My counselor just had the number for the Sky Center and then the next day we were here seeking uh, counseling. At first, uh, therapy can, can seem pretty daunting and, and, and pretty scary. And so it just feels nice to not, not feel alone is mainly what I've taken away from it. You just sit down with someone and they just understand you. And they're like, yeah, let's talk about this. And that's a very important uh, resource and avenue of my life. The good news is our programs are completely at no cost. So we need to learn how to be present and feel hopeful so they have that hopefulness and be resilient to bounce back. How do you teach hope? Because hope is a powerful antidote to suicide and hopefulness is challenging for families. This is not easy stuff.